discover something about myself. I'm in fact very happy to see there are a lot of senior citizens in the audience because Arundhati had told me, please talk about the book with the relevance to the people whom you've been uh, associating for the past so many years. I'm delighted that many of you are here and I know innately that senior citizens very specially like anything which is very gentle on the body, on the mind and very easy on the living, day to day living. It so happened that when she asked me to speak on a book like Home Remedies, for a pill popper like myself, I was very skeptic, gosh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about the book because I'm exactly on the other end of the spectrum, popping a pill for even a slightest headache. But Arundhati being a great friend of mine, someone whose qualities multi-directional talents whom I admire very, very uh, genuinely. I said, okay, let me take this plunge and see what happens. So I kept <coughs> postponing reading the book with a lot of trepidation. I don't know what I'm going to be saying. So one day it so happened that my daughter discovered in uh, my grandchild was about five years old, a lot of lice in the hair. The child had picked up from school these lice. And when my daughter told me, I said, oh, wait a minute. Let me go and see the book. I remember seeing in Arundhati's book what to do for lice. So it was on a Sunday and no medical shops and so my daughter was fretting and fuming what to do, what to do. I said, I know what to do. I invaded my kitchen and my puja room where we keep camphor. I took camphor, powdered it, took a little bit of coconut oil in my hand and rubbed it all over my child's scalp and tied it up with a napkin as she had instructed. And next day morning, I washed her off with a lemon. And that whole day, there was a report from the teacher, what did you do? Because till yesterday, Ruhi was all the time scratching her head. So what happened today? So that was the email. These days, teachers and mothers are on the email, constant email, you have to do this, you have to do that. And so my daughter told me, Amma, I have got an email from the teacher that Ruhi did not scratch her head today. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, there is one more thing to do. And then there is a second cure also, second day also, she has said you have to do something, I did all that. And in two to three days time, the lies and all have absolutely disappeared. And I realized, my God, there seems to be something in the book. Let me start reading. <coughs> and two days back, I heard my two of my maids discussing. These days, the madam is coming to the kitchen too often, no? <laughs> and they were discussing, yeah, she's, she takes in her hand very strange things like pepper, like camphor, and she was asking for something. We don't even know what it is. But then I had gone to see, oh, I'll tell you what is the, she's a Tamil speaking uh, maid. So I said, I'll tell you what it is. I promptly went again to Arundhati and found that seven languages I could have explained what the small change I was looking for. I realized, therefore, in the course of about a week, I seem to be believing that many Common ailments, as Mr. Kulkarni said, many common ailments have very simple treatments. And I go with you, sir, you said 70% of the ailments don't need medicines at all. I pray to God I don't continue.
continue my pill popping habit with the guidance uh, Arundhati has given and it's a very very useful uh, and across so a comprehensive galaxy of diseases I would say and little and small and big uh, ailments and uh, her yes as uh, uh, Sanjay had said your dedication if there is a um, world record Guinness for dedication I think it must go to you mm. she had she had dedicated the book to the world of her own people which includes many of us here also a very profound touching friendly personality is seeping through these pages that's what I think the value of this book. I would be very happy, Arundhati, if and yourself as publisher. Just one, one remedy, along with my magazine, Dignity Dialogue, uh, I would like to print and put it as a small uh, attachment over here. The whole magazine is about something else, but just about important good nice remedies i would like to do over the 12 issues which will also promote the book we give some references to uh, the book where to buy and things like that this is something i would very much like to offer it free to our subscribers who are all senior citizens i hope i have done the task you have set for me thank you very much